How's everybody doing? Good. Could you elaborate on your statement of looking for ways to cut costs and work with the administration on health care? Well, here, here's the way I look at it. The election's over. No is not an answer. Um, I'm, I'm responsible for the citizens of our state. I want to focus on what their needs are. I know from a health care standpoint, they need lower health care costs. They need improved access and improved outcomes. So my goal is the only way I've ever gotten anything done in life is to sit down with people and see if there's common ground. Uh, I got the Everglades settlement done this last year by doing that, and my goal is to do the same thing here. But in the end, I'm responsible for our state. I'm responsible to make sure that our citizens uh, get what they what they need. Uh, so right now, as I said, the um, uh, what I've seen about the uh, state exchange is that I don't know who's going to pay for it. It's going to cost a lot of money. Um, I you know we have tight budgets in our state. Medicaid has already been growing at three and a half times our general revenue. Uh, so I'm already uh, working to make sure that we control the growth rate of Medicaid. So, uh, but I want to sit down with them and see if there's some common ground. What can they offer you to, on, on Medicaid expansion? What do you want? Do you want them to lower the li lower it down to 100 or 80 percent? What what can they do to make you say yes? The biggest the biggest thing they could do for us is understand that you know I care about our citizens. I want to make sure we have the right safety net for our families. Uh, give us more flexibility uh, to do make our own decisions. We have a Medicaid waiver in that we've had in for over a year that would move our state to a managed Medicaid program, which has worked. It's better for us. It's better for uh, those relying on Medicaid. Uh, we can afford it. So go ahead and improve our waiver. Uh, that would be the that would be the first step. The long term is give us more flexibility. I mean, it'd be great to get a block grant. Flexibility to do what? To flexibility. Low eligibility, to lower for, benefits. To or? to spend the money the way that, the way our families need it. I mean, I'll give you an example. I, I, there was a lady I talked to that was working. Uh, full-time and her husband was working full-time they were having a baby right and uh, so she could not stay she didn't have enough money uh, to buy health insurance and wasn't getting a health insurance through her employer she wanted uh, to get some health insurance but she did, what she ultimately had to do is quit her job there should have been a subsidy the way to solve her need would have been to give her a subsidy to buy insurance not make her quit her job so she made less money to go on Medicaid. That doesn't make any sense. So we ought to think about programs like that where we keep people employed. 